Good afternoon, STEM. We are now in our week 9 lesson, and our topic for today is about systems of nonlinear equations by elimination. Okay, so another method that you can use in solving systems of nonlinear equation is by elimination. Consider the variable or expression that uh, that you can use to eliminate in the equation when you add or subtract the equation. So when we say elimination, that is we are trying to remove something, uh, remove one variable so that it is easy for us to solve for the other variable. Okay, so we have here an example, x squared minus 3 times the quantity y minus 1 squared equals 9, and x squared plus 2 times the quantity y plus 1 squared equals 9. So what variable do you think uh, is easier to eliminate if we subtract or if we add? So note that it is easier to eliminate x squared by subtracting the first equation from the second equation or by multiplying the second equation by negative 1 and add the two equations. So we can also use either subtraction or addition. So kung mag-use kita subtraction, so we can directly subtract the first and the second equation. So if may use naman ko the subtraction method or if may use ko the addition method, uh, I need to multiply the second equation by negative 1 and then i-add ko sila nga dua. Okay, so we have here x squared ta minus 3 times the quantity y minus 1 squared equals 9. So, we write this and then we have x squared plus 2 times the quantity y minus 1 squared equals 9. So, uh, we multiply both sides by negative 1 and then nag-add. So, ako nating gigamit niya sa ako niya process. So, pwede nyo man may directly subtract. Pero sa ako niya case, uh, I multiply both sides of the second equation by negative 1. So, dali o. So, nag-multiply ko din negative 1. So, negative 1 times x squared, that is x squared, Negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2. And then, negative 1 times y, that is neg uh, negative 1 times 9, that is negative 9. And then, you simply add. So, y gin add ko. Because opposite, are positive ang sa babaw, and then sa dalog is negative. So, kung i-add ko, the answer is 0. So, x squared minus x squared, that is 0. And then, negative 3y, 3 times the quantity y minus 1 squared minus 2 times the quantity y minus 1 squared. So, the answer is negative 5 times y minus, times the quantity y minus 1 squared equals, so 9 minus 9, that is 0. And then, solve for y. So, since y minus 1 squared can be written also negative 1, times the quantity y minus 1 equals 0. So, we can uh, equate each set or group of expression. So, so pwede tenis lang equate into 0. So, y minus 1 equals 0. And then, same also sa pihak. y minus 1 equals 0. And then, solve for y. So, y is equal to 1. Same also here sa pihak. y equals to 1. Or, pwede na lang y equals 1. Okay, number, uh, substitute y equals 1 to equation 1 to solve for x. So, pwede naman sa substitute sa equation 2. But, uh, in this case, I use equation 1. So, let's substitute y sa atin niya variable. So, let's substitute this into 1. Okay, so x squared minus 3 times the quantity 1 minus 1 squared equals 9. So, since sa sulod sa parenthesis ta, this becomes 1. 
So 1 minus 1, that is 0. 0 squared is still 0. And then 0 times 3, that is still 0. So x squared minus 0 equals 9. And then solve for x. x squared equals 9. And then you extract the square root of x squared. So we have x is equal to positive negative 3. Or we can also write this um, x squared minus 9. Um, Oops. x squared minus 9 equals 0. So this can also be written as x minus 3 and times the quantity x plus 3 by applying factoring technique equals 0. And then you solve for x. So x is equal to 3 and then sa pihak naman is x equal to negative 3. So, it's up to you kung what process are you going to use. Hence, the solution set of the given equations is negative 3, 1, and 3, positive 1. So, ano maghambal kita solution set? So, the solution set, these are, or this is the intersections of our two or more graphs. So, ang ilang solution set, amoy siya ang kundiin sila nag-intersect or nag-tabuay. The method illustrated was a combination of elimination and substitution. However, you may use the elimination only in your solution. This is also illustrated as follows. So, um, earlier year, ang ginggamit yung example that is the combination of elimination. So, sa first step, nag-eliminate kita x squared. And then, sa second step is nag-substitute kita value of y. So, that is substitution. So, what if be kong pure elimination ng gina natin gamiton? So, eliminate y and solve for x. So, our equation 1, we have 2x squared minus 6 times the quantity y minus 1 squared equals 18. And then, our second equation is 3x squared plus 6 times the quantity y minus 1 squared equals 27. So, ano di ang mas dasig may eliminate nga variable? Of course, so we have here a negative 6 times the quantity y minus squared, 1 squared, time, and the second also, the second equation, we have 6, positive 6 times the quantity y minus 1 squared. So, muna siya ang mas dasig tama eliminate. Since this becomes 0 kung aton sila i-add. Okay, so we use addition since opposite naman siya mo negative 6 and positive 6. So, hapos na lang na siya mag-add. Okay, so 2x squared plus 3x squared that is 5x squared and then, so this becomes 0. And then, 18 plus 27 that is 45. So, we have now 5x squared equals 45 since may arkita din nga um, number 5. So, paano natin yung ma-remove si 5? So, we divide both sides of the equation by 5. So, that's why may aray kita di x squared equals 45 divided by 5, that is 9. So, solve for x. So, dapat hindi na da ang final answer ta x squared. So, dapat x lang did. Wala na siya exponent. So, to remove the exponent, we extract its square root. So, we have square root of x squared is equal to square root of 9, still the answer is positive, negative 3. Ang atong niya x. So, steps in solving a system of nonlinear equations by elimination method. So, first step is label the equations as equation 1 and equation 2. Step 2, choose a variable or expression that will be eliminated first. So, rewrite equation 1 or equation 2 to equivalent equations using the multiplication property to cancel the variable or expression. Step 4 as 3 is solve for the variable that was derived in step 2. And the last step, step 4, substitute the value of the variable in step 2 to one of the equations and solve for the value of other variable. Okay, so solve by elimination. We have negative 5x minus 6y equals 8. And then our second equation, we have 5x plus 2y equals 4. 
Add or subtract the equations to eliminate one variable. So, ano mas hapos di eliminate? Of course, that is negative 5x and 5x. So, paano sila ma-eliminate? So, we are going to add them. E kung ma-subtract ko, maparehas na ako ng ilasign. So, take note, dapat ilasign or opposite. So, kung dili negative, dapat ang isa positive. So, that answer is 0. So, negative 5x plus 5x, that is 0, minus 6y plus 2y, that is negative 4y equals, so 8 plus 4, that is 12. So, may, para ma-remove si negative 4, we divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. So, the answer is y equals, so 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. Now, substitute negative 3 for y in either original equation to find the value of x, the eliminated variable. So, we have here negative 5x minus 6. Since we have a value of y which is negative 3, let's substitute negative 3 here. So, y variable sa atin first equation equals 8. And then solve for x. Negative 5x, negative 6 times negative 3, that is negative, uh, positive 18 equals 8. So, positive 18 so, paano ma-remove si positive 18? So, we subtract both sides by 18. So, 8, um, 8 minus 18, that is 2. Since we are kita diri nga negative x. So, the answer is x equals positive 2. The solution for the linear system is 2, negative 3, the ordered pair that satisfies both equations. Solving systems of linear equations. So, addition or elimination method. So we have here 12x minus 9y equals 75, negative 12x plus 32y equals 40. So, ano naman din atin da sigma? Eliminate. Of course, the 12x and the negative 12x. So, ano himo unta? We are going to add them. So, 12x plus negative 12x, this becomes 0. Negative 9y plus 32y, that is positive 23y. 75 plus 40, that is 115. So, simplify. So, for y... So, we divide both sides of the equation by 23. The answer is 5. Substitute original equation. So, uh, you can choose either the first or the second equation to substitute. So, we substitute 4x minus 3y equals 25. And then 4x minus 3 times value of y which is 5 equals 25. Then 4x equals 40. And divide both sides by 4, we have now x equals 10. So, the solution set is 10, 5. Okay, so any questions? If you have questions, can you message me to our group chat? And thank you for listening.